Warm greetings. I just had to, got the opportunity to uh, to congratulate Joanne for making this happen, which I, I think is absolutely amazing achievement. Um, you know, we're a kind of a year and a half with we've seen a complete. I would say collapse of um, live music and the kind of art culture industry. She's able to, and the rest of the team and the hosts of this amazing space have have made this happen, and um, and it's manifested into a beautiful congregation. I can see, and thank you, thank you again, amazing, congratulations. <laughs> We'll probably um, speak a little later on Joanne's um, request, but I think in the beginning I'll just, um, I've had like cabin fever in the studio for like like six weeks working on my new album, which is almost finished, so it's, it's beautiful to just sit with this instrument. Earlier on, um, when we were sound checking, there was some electronics peripherals I had where I wanted to do some kind of processing. Um, and then somehow all the electronics just failed. They, they, they weren't working. And then Lisa said, well, you know, actually, just, you know, just keep it, keep it real. Keep it natural. Because we've also, a year and a half, we all realized that our communications and we've had to rely on so much of a di digital um, means to communicate, and um, and it definitely feels liberating to 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 just play or try to play this instrument in the way I've been trying to polish the things which my teacher has taught me since the age of fifteen, and so yeah, so the last thirty years I've just been trying to polish whenever I get the chance to play dabla because you know there's other areas where I kind of also focus on um, in parallel to playing dabla so I usually um, when dabla solo is presented it's usually accompanied by a melodic instrument so the melodic instrument plays the role of keeping the kind of framework of like or the baseline which is repetitive so that creates a kind of melodic um, repetition of form for the kind of uh, the guidelines of the stipulated rhythm which the soloist will choose to play so that rhythm could be the solo could be in the rhythm of 16 beat cycle uh, which is what I'm going to play it um, now uh, it's so it could be 16 beats it could be 7 beats it could be 11 beats it could be 10 beats it could be 14 beats it could be 15 beats it could be 7.5 it could be 9 and a quarter beats cycle and um, but 16 beat cycle is um, a lot can happen within that 16 beats long cycle so I don't have um, the the blessing and privilege of having the me the melody um, providing accompanying musician. So I'm just going to. Um, there's somebody had developed an iPad app application which they've carefully recorded musicians and and really beautifully kind of created a kind of loop which you can also change the pitch and you can also change the tempo. So I've never done this before on stage. So. I hope it's going to work, and I hope it's not going to. I hope it's not going to be like too disturbing. So, and so the idea again of melody, well, the idea of harmony in the context of Indian music is harmony is is melody and rhythm, and how they weave together, as opposed to having chords 
in let's say melody having more than five six notes where it changed that's a very sophisticated development in european music but in india we don't have that and you know so you just have a modal idea of melody but what you do have which is special is um you have many micro notes in between notes so it between c sharp and d there'll be many other notes so so and the instruments also have the um the capacity to to kind of bend just like the drum also has the percussion drum and also dabla is um somebody had asked me actually my editor i'm writing a book on learning dabla method book uh, for hey leonard and he called me up the other day and i think evelyn Evelyn Glennie's, she's also writing a book we're doing one at the same time, which is quite amazing. And he had asked me, he said, oh, is, is Dabla considered as a tuned percussion instrument? And I said, oh, God, that's really interesting. Um, I had to think about it. And I said, yeah. I said, well, it's a barrel drum, so originally. So originally it was one drum. Uh, so like one barrel drum and then and then it became two drums and there's many stories there's many in terms of mythology of how it happened some people say it was Hazrat Amir Khusru who was who was a Sufi saint a poet um, a designer and a huge tastemaker so they say you know he had invented the tabla but you know sometimes we buy the story and sometimes we don't buy the story and then some people blame it on a, a master musician who got fed up because he was trying to play some intricate things on the drums and it wasn't possible so he just smashed his drum one day and it, I mean I don't buy that story because no musician would really I don't think do that um, but I think it's just a development. It's it, it's a natural evolution of an ancient instrument. Dabla is considered quite a modern instrument. Um, the repertoire of Dabla has collected to be absolutely huge. I would say bigger than vocal or instrumental music almost like in terms of because we have five different percussion scores in india and all of those five scores have contributed so much towards the archive of compositions now the compositions um kaida so kaida is quite a grammatically kind of um sequenced progressive composition so there's a particular uh, phrase which happens as the tail which which is stipulated to be at a certain point and is always there now that never changes and then there's variations you can do you can pre-prepare variations some variations get passed on from your teacher and then eventually you start on the spot creating variations so it's the poet. Po, it, it is definitely the poetic um, side of Dabla, the Kaida, and it was really developed. The Kaida was really developed in Delhi, especially around the Mughal period. Um, the Mughal period really developed Dabla in Delhi, in, into a, quite a sophisticated um, repertoire. Uh, my Guruji comes from Punjab which is what the i would say the original tabla school i wouldn't say the original tabla school i would say it's the pakavad school the barrel drum and then from the barrel drum compositions got passed like there's a fabulous story where in punjab a thousand from our school a thousand and one compositions went to lucknow and then from lucknow to banaras varanasi 
and they went through the hedge. So they went through, they got passed through dowry. So there was a marriage of two musician musical families. So now in dowry, you know, in, in Delhi, people ask for, oh, we want a fridge, we want a Mercedes. <laughs> and that time, you know, it was either the culinary uh, art skills or music or dance used to get passed on. As that, that was the idea originally of dowry. And um, now it's like bitcoins. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll begin with, um, because I'm new to this, so I'm just going to pace myself a little bit and try to just create some kind of harmony with this iPad and some friendship with it. And so, so then after that, I'll play a kaida, which is in a triplet form. As I was resting um, today, you know, it was raining, and then we've had these beautiful, well, we've had these days of thunder, rain, and nice, yeah, kind of hot weather too. Well, hot, hot is not a monsoon hot, but a slight humidity. So I'm kind of feeling the first composition. I'd like to express how thunder can sometimes just feel or how clouds move around and then you have this like slight kind of roaring thunder nature sounds and then the composition which will follow that is known as rela which is very kind of rain type of very intricate um, roll type of uh, work on the tabla so in that theme, I, I would try to express how rain happens and how the sounds of, of rain flow. So these are the first three compositions. Then from there, we'll see what happens and see how it develops. And thank you.
So now this next theme is um, is the triplet kaida theme, which I'm going to try to express. Like I said earlier, of how clouds move and how thunder kind of expresses itself in terms of sound and sometimes rhythm. So the syllables of this um, composition is Din dagena da the ticket a dada gigina kadina dinagina tak ganana da the ticket a dada gigina kadina dinagina tin tagena da the ticket a tata gigina kadina dinagina tak ganana da the ticket a dada gigina kadina dinagina tin this composition is very, very close to our style, the Punjab Garana. Din dagina da, the ticket the data gagina kadina, the nagina tak. So, oh, oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with that. I, I didn't realize iPads can be so intuitive.
the Cypress. The Cypress. Definitely going to get paid. Sometimes that just outside in the garden, you just see how a bucket, a bucket of water, you know, within five minutes just gets filled up with water and how that sounds like. I'll just try to um, express how, how that could sound as the bucket fills up.
another theme, uh, another kaida. Tata, that is the Tati Dagan, the Tenakin, the Tati Dagan, the Tenakin, the Tati Dagan, the Tenakin, the Tata, that is the Tati Dagan, the Tenakin, the Tati Dagan, the Tati Dagan, the Tati Dagan, the Tati Dagan, the end tail piece I was talking about earlier. You can hear how it kind of really entwines with, with the melody. Tata, Dita, Dita, Tati Dagan, Tina, Kinna, Dita, Dita, Dagan, Tati Dagan, Tina, Kinna, Tata. You'll hear that when it's the next tempo, like here. So these compositions, that's what kind of marks the kind of aesthetic of a good composition in my thought process, in my appreciation. Now, this is how the variations happen. Um, okay. Playing this like really, really ultra slow, um, yeah. You know because because I want to play it that way, and I also want to share that of how my teacher would say, well, why are you speeding? Why why are you always speeding everything? You know, just learn to play things slow, and the speed will happen in like 50 years to come. You know, and then and then it will flow in the way you would really want it to be you know so as we're young and supple it's so easy to do things fast but if we can just really slow ourselves down and then that's really where the the fine tuning aesthetic of sound can possibly happen of how my teacher wanted it which is a very very difficult road in terms of um, because today we live in a world of pyrotechnics when it comes to performing especially as a percussion instrument so I'm playing it slow
So now I'll play a qaeda uh, which was kind of conceived in, 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 in Delhi. And um, that's where I would say uh, Tabla really got developed on, on the very fine, sophisticated, well, it's all sophisticated, but, but I think the intricate is the, is the correct um, way to des describe it. The, the, the kind of detailed intricacies of the patterns, that kind of detail you see in fine art, in the Mughal period, the Sufi um, renaissance of art. So that you would start kind of feeling is happening in Tabla. So this is a Qaeda um, which usually gets taught pretty much early in your stage. And, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, very important, I think, composition in Tabla. So here's Dati Dage na da, Tirikita Dati Dage, Tina Kina. So Tina Kina again, again, Tina Kina happens. So whatever we play, Tina Kina is always going to be there. Tina and Kina. Two lovely ladies. My sister's name's Tina. And uh, so Tina and Kina are always going to be at the end of everything you do here. Dati dagena da tikita dati da tina kina dati dagena da tikita dati da tina kina dati dagena da tikita dati tina kina dati dagena da tikita dati da 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 tina dati dagena da tikita dati da tina kina dati dagena da tikita dati da tikita dati dagena da tikita dati da tina kina dati dagena da tikita dati da tikita dati dagena da tikita dati da tina kina
you. Thank you so much. Um, so I suppose this, yeah, ended up naturally being a unique way of kind of um, playing, you know, yeah, performing, but also sharing, um, sharing the kind of development, the aesthetics, um, you know, as as you're performing. So I played things a little bit slower than usual, and and I'm glad because there's what we call there's a beautiful world called Ras. Ras is um, the nectar. It's like the juice. It's the nectar of the music. So my master Guruji always said, look, if you want Ras in your music, you know, then you've got to slow shit down. <laughs> and um, another thing he always used to say to me is, look, in the, also in the times to come, or maybe he was just, and this was like in the late 80s, he was, he said, look, you know, if you, he, he said, Be because I'm not in the West hemisphere, in the world, don't think that I don't know what's going on or what's going to go on. If you start doing the things which I'm telling you and slow stuff down and work really hard at the roundness, and I'm not there, trust me, I'm really not there at all of what he wants and what he told me that develop, what he wanted me to develop as a musician. He said, that's what is, that's what people are going to want to hear in the future. And now I really understand what, especially over the last couple of years, what in this particular time we're in, or just coming out of, um, I understand uh, that kind of resonance and what he wants to hear in music. And it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant of what instruments, whether they're, you know, like, Nick Void set up electronic music or acoustic. That doesn't matter. The, that's just a voice. But it's the it's the kind of the healing aspect of music, whether it's jazz or classical. Again, beyond genre, and um, it's I think that's what is really special about about music. And I think in this kind of sabbatical we've had. I, I definitely feel people are missing it more and more and I get messages saying, Oh man, I just I I just I just want to hear something live. Live, you know? And um so and thank you. Thanks for Synergy for the sound and um and I look forward to the rest of the beautiful, amazing evening. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>